my name is Eloise Ansell and I specialise in helping busy people open their hearts to more love, more joy and more abundance in their lives. I am all about helping people to reach their full potential. One of the ways I do that is through teaching a weekend seminar called Mindscape. Now, I'm really, I get really excited about teaching Mindscape. I've been teaching it for years now and I absolutely love it. And if you're interested in having a more fun life, a more joyful life, you know, and just opening to more abundance and just, just more reaching your full potential, stay tuned because you want to hear more about this weekend. Now, I, since a very young age, I have struggled with my intuition. They always say you end up teaching what you have an issue with. There's no coincidence why I've ended up teaching Mindscape. I could go on about this for a long while, giving you all the, the insights on the way, but basically everybody is intuitive, even you. You may just not have found a way of utilising it more effectively. Because when we when we get that, that insight, or we get that kind of knowing feeling, or that gut instinct, whatever we want to label it as, we kind of question it and what's going on is there's this dialogue and this play going on between the two hemispheres of the brain putting it simply you have a right brain which is the side that can access the, the intuition and the left <laughs> left hemisphere which is more the logical the analytical side so you have two hemispheres and they're always kind of fighting for who's best and to make things even more complex, we have a society that really, really, really values, especially in the Western world, the logic. So if we can't touch it, taste it, smell it, or feel it, it doesn't actually exist. You know, we want tangible evidence all the time, otherwise we're not going to trust it. So this is why the intuition gets quite a bad rap, really. <laughs> because when you just suddenly get a feeling or a knowing about something, it, you know, there isn't any logic to it to back it up, so we quite often end up dissing it or we ignore it, and then later on things happen and we go, ah, oh, that, that, oh, I knew, but I didn't, I didn't take it on board, I didn't see it, I didn't, you know, um, trust it. So a lot of people come to the seminar, you know, and they come to spend the weekend with me, and they know they're intuitive because I can guarantee you are. Maybe they need more structure so that they can actually use their intuition on a daily basis. They can learn to trust it and just be more utilising of it, really. Our intuition, like everything else, is a muscle. And if we don't use it, we lose it. So having a way that every day, or every moment of every day if you want, you can tap into your intuition and really access it and play in that space of... You know, nine times out of ten, knowing exactly what to do, when you should do it, <laughs> so it's just more fun. Um, even doing this video today, I'm doing it because my intuition told me to do it. I just follow, and I just keep following, and you know, the world isn't perfect, it's never going to be perfect, because you still need challenge in life to grow, and it does support me a lot, it really does, so I live by my intuition as much as possible. Every day I check in with it through Mindscape and I'm constantly just being open to those little signs, those little things that keep me on track, give me that little road map of, of what I need to do and where I need to be. So at the Mindscape weekend it is very experiential. You can't really say too much about what we do. But over that weekend I teach you uh, about the state of mind and what state of mind actually helps to open the intuition. And then we start building a framework in, in the mind, in the brain. And that framework gives the logical, analytical side that's always questioning, kind of keeps it busy. We're going to give your left brain, that logical, analytical side, some sweets and some toys. We can put it in the corner <laughs> so it can play happily which is going to allow that right side of the brain, and this is very simplistic terms, but that right side of the brain that can access the intuition. We can give it the freedom to actually start interacting with us a little bit more. 
So normally the left and the right brain are having a constant argument about who's best and you know the ego, which resides in the left brain, thinks it knows better. And it, certainly in the Western world we also have a society that really, really values logic. Our whole schooling system, everything is set up about from a left brain perspective. So there are a lot of people out there that would never even listen to this video because they're not open enough. And I meet a lot of people that are very close minded, and I'm sure you know someone like that. They just, if they can't touch it, feel it, taste it or smell it, it doesn't exist. You know, there is no question in their mind that there is anything outside of the, the framework that they play in. And they have a very small box that they live in in their life and they're not willing to come out of it. But our whole society is, we say things like, well, that's not logical. You know, we're, we're constantly framing things that things have to be logical and they have to make sense. And, you know, we have to do analysis. We can't make a decision based on our gut. We have to, you know, weigh up the pros and cons and, and <laughs> make a logical decision. But we know that isn't always the case and we know that isn't always the right, right frame of mind because I bet you've all made a decision sometimes which didn't make sense on paper but in retrospect you go, oh, I'm so glad I did that. It made so much sense. You know, I met that person and that person introduced me to that job and then, you know, things just, just bubbled from that. It's like the amount of times in my life where things just occur or happen, it's kind of fun when you just allow and observe what happens. Um, I remember once I went to a party with my sister and I'd just been made redundant so I was looking for a new job. I didn't expect to get a new job at a party but I got <laughs> talking to this guy and he said that he knew someone I used to work with and he had a friend that had an opening and that absolutely needed my skill set so he gave my his friend my phone number we rang the next day and the following day I had a job it's like <laughs> you can't make it up it just happens you know when you're open now if I hadn't been honest and vulnerable in that moment chatting to that guy at the party and you know not actually telling him what my situation was I wouldn't have got the job things just happen when we come from this place where we just trust our intuition and we trust our heart to open our mouth and say whatever we feel we should say to someone. It really is a game changer when we actually start working from that more vulnerable place, from that more gut instinct and less from the logical perspective of having to look good and um, you know be perfect in the moment. <laughs> so you know when you work from this place of work trusting the intuition and going with it, things can just happen. Now a lot of people aren't trusting their intuition or they haven't had enough evidence that it works and so the weekend that I teach very much my frame of reference is that I'm going to change your paradigm of what is possible. Now I've had people come to the class just because they want to hang out with me because they're an old friend and they just happen to be free and they're like hey I'll come to Mindscape I just want to hang out with you and they sit there on the class going <laughs> what they can do and I get emails from them afterwards going I'm using this every day I, I can't believe what I'm doing and they just love it now you can take a horse to water but you don't have to <laughs> you can't force it to drink so some people leave the course and I'll be honest they either freak themselves out with what they do or they don't actually commit to implementing it into their lives so if you're someone that's not into implementing things you know maybe this isn't for you but those people that really really start making this part of their daily life and really want to open up to that more love more abundance more uh, more joy kind of space uh, opening our intuition is one way of doing that and people are so limited in their view of the world and what they think they're capable of but we know the mind and the brain is you know, we're only using a minute amount of it so when we start opening those doors to seeing what else we can do and when we start to experience doing things that we maybe thought were impossible, it just keeps opening up the possibilities and you keep questioning things and you keep saying, well, I could do that or maybe I, you know, or maybe I can explore that now and, you know, just keep exploring and 
experiencing life and just keep pushing the boundaries and it can be incredible what you can do. So Mindscape, it is a weekend class and it's an experience and I'm going to change your paradigms, I'm going to open your eyes to what you're really capable of and then you can use this in every way, in every avenue of your life. It doesn't matter what you do for a living, it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter what your circumstances, you can, you can use this tool from day one. When I left the class, I actually was going to go and give some therapy sessions, I'm a body talk practitioner, and I was giving some sessions and I did them in, in Mindscape, and wow, the information that was open to me compared to before, I was like, I'm never doing a session without Mindscape. Because when I do anything, especially for a client, I want to give it 110%. I want to be open to any information that I need to be aware of to actually bring the best out of them and help them have the biggest shift that they can have. So I want to use all of my tools and resources. So Mindscape for me is a huge part of that. And now I use it to do uh, remote sessions for people all around the world. I spend many, many hours a week doing sessions on people that aren't physically with me, and they shift. But I had to break down my paradigms to, to work with that. Now, you can use this for other things. So, so anyone who works one-to-one -one with people, or if you're working with group dynamics, you can use Mindscape to tune into that dynamic, or that group, or even if you're taking a job interview, you can meet the people beforehand, get some insights, tell them from a heart space what you're gonna do, and what's going on for you and them, it makes things a lot easier. When I have a client who is disabled, you know, I have some um, kids that come to me that have brain disorders and maybe they can't speak or articulate themselves very much and some of them are bedridden and when I go to visit them, I've already met them in my escape, let's be honest, because I want to <laughs> turn up and then be okay with me so I have a check-in with them I tell them what's going on and when I meet them face to face the family really never quite get over how comfortable they are with me um, there was one case last year where this kid was just giggling his head off he was a lovely lovely guy and I could just hear him in my ear <laughs> intuition could just hear him going get on with it get on because <laughs> he wanted me to do the session and he was just looking at me and giggling away. And the family was shocked. You know, I was still having a conversation with them about what was going to happen and kind of convincing their left brains that it was the right thing. Um, he already knew it was, and he was just so open. And, you know, uh, they were saying, like, after 10 years, the family doctor, he still can't relax with him. You know, he doesn't like strangers, and he's just laughing at you. <laughs> How incredible is that? But that's what I get all the time. So it's great being able to tune into people. Now that isn't a, you know, a specific circumstance, but if you're meeting people day to day, it's great having been able to connect with them because they kind of feel like they know you already and that just makes it easier to trust, makes it easier to be open with them and for them to kind of get on with you and certainly for therapists or business people that want to, you know, cut some of the rubbish and the time consuming stuff out and just actually meet someone, it, it really does open doors. Now it's not just for working with people, you can use it for working with animals, um, we use it for actually improving things, so things like skills or um, activities that you do that you want to excel at, um, so we look at sports and we look at even presentations, writing books all kinds of different dynamics, playing instruments. I have so many stories to share about where I've used this in my life and where um, past students have that we could be here for a month of Sunday. So I'm not going to go into all of them, but this is a tool of personal development. It's a tool of personal growth. It can inspire you. It can push you around a little bit to play a bigger game and to get out there and be visible in the world if that's what's needed. You can use it in every aspect. I have used it to sort my car out. <laughs> I have a great relationship with my car now. Hardly ever breaks down compared to how it used to be. 
um, but it would tell me if I need to do some work on it. So I don't leave things for too long, but I can push things a little bit. It's quite useful. <laughs> um, so I use it for that. I use it for finding flats, where to live. Um, you know, it's just incredible sometimes how I can sit down and go, okay, what's my criteria for whatever it is, be it a flat or a, a, a client or a situation. And if I actually sit down and say, okay, what do I need? What do I want? Um, I might get it 100%, but I'll get something and I'm like, wow, I hadn't even thought about those aspects that I needed. They weren't even on my list, but actually they're brilliant bonuses. And the circumstances of what I can manifest, I'm, it blows me away. It really does. It's just super special. So I get really <laughs> excited about teaching these tools to other people and giving them uh, a new paradigm on the world and new possibilities of what they can use this for and if you're interested in personal development personal growth or you just want to be the best that you can be in any given situation in anything that you enjoy doing in life Mindscape might be something to look at. Now in 2015 I am traveling around quite a bit teaching so I have some dates if you know anyone in these places share the video but if you're nearby come and check it out some of these dates i will be doing a talk the night before the course not all of them though so and um, check out my website which is www.flourishment.co.uk because all the dates and things will be on there so i am near belfast on the 21st and 22nd of march so that date's getting near the early bird for that if you sign up and pay a month before the class you save money so do that that's coming up soon. It'll be the, the, I think the 20th of February, so be quick if you're near Belfast. I'm going to be in Dubai on the 22nd and 23rd of May. So if you're over that way, come and say hi, come and meet me. I'm going to be up in Sheffield on the 30th and the 31st of May. Then I'm going to be in London on the 6th and the 7th of June. So if you're in the UK, maybe London's a best place to come and see me. Then I'm over to Belgium. <laughs> oh, but that way. I don't actually know which way it is. Oh, over there. That way. I was right the first time. My intuition was fine. <laughs> I'm in Belgium on the 11th and 12th of July. And then I'm down in Brighton for the 18th and 19th of July. So those are my key dates for the first half of 2015. Um, check out my website. I will leave the link below on the YouTube and you can check out any dates I have coming up if you're watching this in the future and those dates have already gone don't worry I'm sure I'll be back to those places <laughs> so if you're passionate about taking your life to the next level or you know you've got maybe stuff from your past like emotional charge or um, you know losses in your life that you kind of want to go back and tidy up, sort out so that you can feel more of a clean slate and uh, you know, really start living a more authentic, a more joyful, um, peaceful life. There's no guarantees that you can have that in every moment, but you can get to a point where things get easier. And it, Mindscape for me has been the best tool for supporting me in my day-to-day -day life, both business, personal. Oh, I have some good dating stories, by the way, as well. <laughs> Come to the class, you can hear those. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it for me, it's just been a blessing. I always knew I was intuitive, and that side of me really needed uh, like some structure or something to actually come out to play. And for me, Mindscape has been the best investment I made ever. And literally, um, the course is like a few, you know, it's a few hundred pounds. So it's an investment. But um, when I first took the class, I actually used this to, I was trying to find a piece of paper. So I went into Mindscape to try and find the piece of paper. And, uh, and actually my intuition guided me to another piece of paper. And when I took this piece of paper out, it was actually insurance, um, you know, the paperwork for a piece of insurance. So 
that I had been looking for. I knew I had this insurance policy and I could actually cash it in. So my intuition knew that that piece of paper was very important and I needed it. And I saved like £6,000. So for, you know, return on investment on the weekend, <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> and that was just during the first year. So, uh, so that was a blessing. But you see, my intuition knew that that bit of paper, piece of paper was far more important than the one I was actually looking for. I did find the other one as well. Don't worry. <laughs> I, uh, just one example of where I've used this in my life and uh, come and find out more you can look on my website and look around some more videos and audios to find out some more examples but if this resonates with you it might be something you want to come and explore now the weekend is a lot of fun as well I like to have fun so the course is fun and it really will change your paradigm of what you think is possible and your potential of what you can really do so if you want to come and find out more, contact me and I will give you details of dates and things that are in your area. So have a super special time and I will catch up with you again. Thanks for listening. Bye.